Hello, I'm back with another tip video and today a really important one. I'm going to be looking at three different ways you can be adding subtitling or transcription into your Zoom meetings. This is a really important way to make them as accessible as possible, but also just to make them easier to follow. Before we get started with the three ways, I do want to say if you want your videos and streaming and uh, Zoom meetings to be as accessible, engaging and inclusive as possible, hit subscribe. I'm going to be making a new video every single week dealing with another aspect of online engagement. So if you'd like some tips and tricks, then do click subscribe. Also, if you enjoy this video, I want to know what works for you. Click like if you have enjoyed it. That lets me know what's working for people. Finally, if you have a question, a thought, a comment, leave them in the chat box down below. I would love to know what you're struggling to get to grips with and I will leave a comment or I will make a little explainer video showing you what I would do if you have a problem. So click subscribe, click like and leave a comment so that I know what is working for people. Anyway, let's get on with today's session, which is looking at subtitling. Three different ways. Option number one, the cheapest because it's free and easiest option to set up because it's built in effectively. Now, I will say that Zoom does have a closed caption feature. I think it's next to useless though. The closed caption feature in Zoom currently assigns someone to type alongside you. So you would be speaking and someone would have to write it out in live time. Most of us aren't going to have the resources to do that. So that's why I'm looking only at automated versions. First way, I've got my Zoom meeting running. Now let's say I want to add subtitles down at the bottom of the screen while I'm talking. The easiest way I can do that is by using PowerPoint. PowerPoint has built-in subtitles which work pretty well. All I need to do is start my PowerPoint deck. When that's running, I can then go into Zoom and share my screen. So let's go Zoom, share screen, up it comes. Now I look to the bottom left of my PowerPoint deck. Where am I? PowerPoint deck, bottom left, and there's a little box that has little dots at the bottom. I click that and subtitling starts. So this is subtitles that are built into Zoom. What you're seeing is what my Zoom participants would see. They would have a little window that would be me in the corner, but most of their screen would be taken up by my PowerPoint slides and the live subtitling. It works pretty well and you can choose what microphone you're listening from, you can choose what language you're speaking in and what language your subtitles appear in, which is pretty clever. So you could be speaking in English but have Italian subtitles. Genius. Let's come out of this again. So that's option number one. Now to work with that, there's a few different things that you can change. You can toggle it on and off with that little button in the bottom left hand corner. But also if you go in and uh, look at slideshow, there's a couple of options you can choose. You can click the box that is always use subtitles. That means as soon as you start to play your PowerPoint deck that uh, the subtitles will appear. You can also choose where they will be. And as I mentioned, you can choose what language they'll be in. So the drawback to this is that you would need to play your PowerPoint deck continually. If you want yourself full screen, you're going to lose the subtitles. So you can just put up a single static PowerPoint slide and have the subtitles appear, but then you will be that little postage stamp in the corner. And that's the trade-off. You want the free and easy subtitles, you're going to have to share your screen throughout your entire session. There's other ways around that. If you want to be able to flick between PowerPoint and have yourself full screen, there are other options we can use, but we're going to go to paid options. Let's look at option number two. Let's say you didn't want to play PowerPoint throughout your presentation. You want to be full screen and you want subtitles to appear down at the bottom. That's still possible, but we're going to have to start paying. This was a feature that I can't believe that Zoom doesn't talk about more, but you can go onto the Zoom marketplace and add apps into your Zoom sessions. Now, a lot of these will be about scheduling Zoom meetings from your Outlook calendar or similar, but there's a really important one called Rev. Rev is a subtitling and transcription software. Uh, it's based in America. I'm not convinced that it has over 80% accuracy with my accent, but maybe it works really well for you. Anyway, 
Zoom captioning for Rev. What you need to do is go to rev.com slash Zoom and you can sign up for a seven day free trial. They will uh, ask you for your card details though and they will automatically charge you after that seven days has expired. So beware of that. Cost $20 per host per month. So for all your Zoom meetings to be captioned, then uh, you can pay $20 a month, which isn't bad at all. Certainly the next option I'm gonna show you, option number three is more expensive. You click through your free trial, you authorize Rev to talk to Zoom, and then we can go into our Zoom meeting. So I've already pre-set this up. I've already connected Zoom to Rev and I've signed up for the free trial. So we can just jump straight into our Zoom meeting now. Zoom and Rev are already connected and that means, I'm gonna turn off my camera so you don't get infinite me. Uh, that means that when I start a new meeting, a notification will appear at the top which says live uh, on Rev. Now this does mean that I am streaming my Zoom meeting. So you will have to make your participants aware that the session will be streamed and that whatever they say might be picked up by the transcription. The nice part is though, if you can see it, down at the bottom of the screen is live subtitles are appearing. Now I've noticed with Rev that there has been a lot of mistakes made with the words that I said. And I'm not sure if that is because it's more geared up for an American accent, but I would definitely play around with it. See if it works for you. And if it doesn't, there are other options. So this is option number two, paid service, $20 a month using Rev. And that means that your subtitles will appear at the bottom of your screen. They're also pretty tiny, which I don't like. I do want to increase the size of them, but uh, being unfamiliar with Rev, maybe that's my failing. I don't know how to increase the size of them. All I know how to do is move them around. So that's going to take some playing with but I'm not a Rev person, not totally convinced just yet. Although I do like that I can speak full screen and have the subtitles appear, which is really, really nice. So that is option number two, paid service using Rev. One little thing that I forgot to mention uh, with Rev, an important point, you do need to make sure that your Zoom meeting is allowed to stream to a third party program. Uh, so to do that, I would just make sure that you have gone into your settings uh, go into settings and uh, choose in meeting advanced and just make sure scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down until you get to allow live streaming of meetings make sure that's turned on because you are going to be broadcasting your meeting to rev in order to get those transcriptions so just a little add on there uh, if you're using uh, rev or option number three that will show you in a second do make sure you've got allow live streaming of meetings turned on so that is PowerPoint and also Rev. Time for option number three. This is the option that I'm currently using, probably because of familiarity rather than any particular um, uh, advantages with the form. Now this doesn't put subtitles live on screen. What this does is it transcribes your meeting and hosts it at a separate website. So when I begin my Zoom meetings, I paste a little message in the chat box explaining to people that the session is being uh, live streamed and transcribed to a third party program. And that if they want to follow along with the transcription, then they can click on the link. This means subtitles don't appear on screen, but a live record of what I and what anyone else says in the meeting is written down at this separate website. So if people want subtitles, they can have their Zoom window and then a smaller separate window with the rolling transcription appearing. The service I use for this is called Otter AI. And I pay about $30 a month for it. If you go into your Otter dashboard and you go to apps, Zoom is already built in. So Rev and Otter are both designed to speak to Zoom. I go in and I add on Otter Live Notes. So you need to have an Otter business account for this, but you enable Otter Live Notes and that's you sorted. You can then go into your Zoom meeting and just the same way as we saw with Rev, you'll see that uh, at the top it says Live on Otter AI. Now, the subtitles won't appear on screen, as I mentioned. So what you have to do is you click on the box and you copy the streaming link. That's what I would put in the chat box along with a description of what people will find there. If I come back to um, my web browser and I type in 
that link, this will take me to a page that will have the live transcription. So everything I say will be appearing on screen in live time. I found that the AI of Otter, the artificial intelligence, works pretty well. So it tends to cope quite well with my accent. It'll also let you know which participant is speaking. So it'll say participant one, participant two, and you can download that transcription after your meeting. For me, I don't really want the transcription. I just want the live captioning. So I delete all the transcriptions of my meetings. So that is three different ways. You can share your PowerPoint screen, click the bottom left hand corner and the subtitles will appear on screen. But if you stop sharing your screen, you lose them. Option number two is $20 a month from Rev. I found some issues with the transcription uh, and they appear on screen, but they're pretty tiny as well. And then option number three, again, a paid service, Otter AI, connecting Zoom up to Otter and a separate link, you'll have that meeting transcription. So I hope that is useful to you. It is a way of making your meetings more accessible and easier to follow along, or even to preserve a record of what was said. If you enjoyed this, then do uh, click like, click subscribe so you get the next video that's coming out next week. And if you've got a thought or a comment, or you've seen something that you really like about transcription in Zoom, then leave a comment down below. Really happy to take questions, comments, and thoughts. But for now, I'll say goodbye, and I'll see you again next week.